everyone and welcome to our video tutorial today on the cash account. The cash account is essentially a particular type of client account that can be used to post miscellaneous charges. So these could be things from bottles of water, from people who purchase something over the counter at your front desk. They could be guests that are staying. They could just be people, again, that might be visiting family or friends at, at your property and would like to buy something. So it's just a great account that you can use for those ad hoc or miscellaneous items. Before I show you the cash account, it is always helpful for you to ensure that any items that you actually charge for or bill for in the system, separate to your room rates and uh, extras that are included in bookings, it's important that you set them up as inventory items so that your staff actually have a list of items that they can select from. Uh, this ensures that your reporting is essentially correct for financial purposes. So the first area we recommend going to is your inventory item page within your book to ensure you have all of the appropriate extras set up so that your staff can select them. So head to inventory items, you'll see your full list of extras that are listed in here. If you need to create a new option for something that you're now selling in your front office or in your shop, you can select add inventory item in the top bar, select a name, so this could be um, bottled water, you can then set what the actual price is. And once you've done this as well, on the right you set where within the client account do you want the charge to appear. So I could say under food and beverage. And then in my general ledger account, I would also want to ensure that I pop it under something that relates to that. So F and B is where I would pop it. Once I save that, it now means I've got this item ready to start billing within the system. So let's say somebody approaches the front desk and they would like to buy a bottle of water. They're not necessarily staying with us, but they just want to purchase this. What you can do is in your menu search, head to cash account. So you'll see it brings up this specific client account that's not really associated with any particular guest or booking or group. But again, it's a, a miscellaneous account for these sorts of items. To add something on and pay it off, in the top you have your add new charge button. Once you select this, you'll then have your inventory item selection. So if we're doing bottled water, we can select that from the list. It pre-fills the amount in here, the description of what it's for. It assigns it to the correct general ledger account for your revenue reporting. You can also add, if they wanted to buy multiple of those, um, quantity of, of the bottles of water that are being purchased. To then pay it off, the easiest way is to select save and pay. So this will take you straight to the payment ad screen. You'll see it pre-fills $5 for the two bottles of water. You'll notice that it's going to pay off those charges below. And then you simply select how it is that you're going to receive the payment. So generally these sorts of things might just be over the counter cash transactions. So for this scenario, I'll select manual payment cash. I can say that they gave me $10 and then it calculates the change I need to give to them and then simply save. So what that will do is create a receipt which we could print off and give to them if needed. Otherwise, if we head back to our client account, you're going to see it's still balanced. We don't have anything outstanding in the account because you can see within here there was a charge for the bottled water which was $5 in the red and then the green payment which pays it off leaving us in that nice balanced account. So the best thing about this is that at the end of the day, when it comes to doing our cash up or end of day banking process, if I head into my flow report, it's going to show me not just my booking payments and deposits that I've made, but it's also going to show other transactions that have occurred on things such as our cash account. So if I have a look, let's say for the week um, of today and run, you're going to see here I've got Payment methods, we've got uh, two transactions here, totaling this amount of money. And then if we actually have a look below at the transactions, we can see there was a booking payment for Jane um, posted for this value. And then underneath that in our cash account, we have our food and beverage for $5. So we wanna make sure we've got that amount of cash in our till. And if we're good to go, we can obviously finish up for the day. If we head back to our cash account, I'd like to run through one more scenario. So if we're opening the menu search here and opening the cash account, let's say we have another person wanting to purchase a bottle of water, but they'd also like to buy something else. So very much a similar scenario, we go add new charge, and then what we're able to do is again add the first option, so we'll do our bottled water, 
once we've selected that, they only want the one, we will save and this time we're going to select add another. So that posts that initial charge, so it raises it, reloads the page so we can then search and add another item onto the account. So this time we're going to add a bottle opener. Once I've done that, I can then select save and pay. So this will take us to that add payment page um, and raises that next charge as well. You'll notice that the payment amount is only at the $10 amount here because it's just picking up that souvenir bottle opener. But if we'd also like to pay off the bottled water, we simply tick in this section and we actually have a shortcut here to say update payment amount. So that just ensures that we take the correct amount of money from the guest. We then select our payment method such as cash and save and that's then going to generate that receipt for us. If we head back to view the client account, if you ever see within the account the add new charge button and somebody has essentially added a charge onto the account and simply saved, what will happen is it's going to appear in the red color and you're going to have an outstanding balance listed within the account. Again, it's important before you leave each day to ensure that this account is balanced. So this is essentially indicating that you're in debt and you need to be paid for this $2.50 amount. So if you were doing your cash up for the day and you notice your till had $2.50 extra than what your flow report had, you could ideally receipt the payment within here to balance that off. So it would just be a matter of ticking the unpaid charge and selecting pay and then how you receipted that, such as cash and then save. And that will ensure that cash account goes back to zero and your flow report now has gone up by $2.50 and you're officially balanced for the day. If you do have questions about the cash account, when you're on this page, you can click into the question mark icon. It will tell you a bit more information about this page, um, some troubleshooting FAQs that can occur on here. Um, but that does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today. I hope you've enjoyed and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.